Do you really know what happens when you place the trade order? What if if you make the wrong choice? Are you prepared for the risk involved in the world of stock trading? In this video you will know when to use the limit order, market order, stop loss order and stop loss limit order. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. The first order type is limit order. A limit order is an order where you specify certain price. If you are selling, you will be saying that I will sell only to this amount of price. And if you are going to buy, you will be saying that I will pay only when the price reaches this level. So here the price is very important in placing a limit order because you are going to set a price where you want to enter into a trade. Let me tell you by giving you an example. You go to a dress shop and you like the shirt very much. The shopkeeper says that the price of the shirt is around 2000 but you started to negotiate it around 1500 and you also tell that I'll come back after 30 minutes if the price is still around 1500 I'll purchase or no more. Here comes the actual risk. When you come after 30 minutes the price may be higher or you might not even have the shirt at all. Similarly, this happens in the stock trading also. The price that you specify does not got hit, then the trade will not itself happen on that day. But what if execution is more important than the actual price? In this case, we will see the second order type which is market order. Imagine you go to a job interview and your shirt is torn. You cannot go to the interview just by wearing that torn shirt. So you go to the nearest shop and buy a new dress regardless of the price. And you tell to the shopkeeper that I just want a shirt, whatever the price is, I'll just buy it now itself. In the market order also, price does not itself matter, only the execution matters. Similarly, if you are in the stock market and you want to sell it immediately, then you will go for the market order. Here the price is secondary, only the execution plays the first part. The third order type is stop loss order. A stop loss order is an order to stop your loss. There are two types of stop loss order. First one is stop loss market order and the second one is stop loss limit order. Stop loss market order has been banned by NSC. So now let's focus on stop loss limit order. Let's take an example of Adani Enterprises during the election time. Suppose you own Adani stocks and you want to limit your loss, you will set the stop loss limit order. The stop loss limit order requires you to define two types of prices. The first one is the trigger price, the another one is the limit price. Let's say the current price of Adani stock is around 3000 and you are willing to risk yourself at 10%. So, if the stock price is below 2700, you will be ready to sell it. You would place a stop loss limit order with the trigger price of 2770, which is about 2700, and the limit price is around 2700. So, here how it works. If the stock price reaches 2700, your limit order to sell 2700 will also get triggered. The execution of trade will happen around 2700 or even the better price, not the worst price. However, there is also a risk in stop loss limit order. If the market moves too quickly and becomes a gap, your limit order might not execute based on the desired price that you have been set up. The fourth order type is stop loss limit order for buying. You can also use stop loss limit order for buying. For example, if your stock is trading around 200 rupees and you think that the price of the stock will rise. So now you can place a stop loss limit order around 210. Once the 210 level has been breached, the limit order will get triggered at 211 to execute. But like previous orders, the executions are not guaranteed and the slippages can happen. Yeah, that's it for today. You came to know about ins and outs of all the four key types of orders. So ask yourself that which order type you are going to use in your next trades. Hope this video finds useful for you. For more such videos and updates, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Happy trading!
trading and investing involve substantial risk and are not suitable for every investor.